Well, NASCAR fans know and love two things, speed and crashes. The European Organization for Nuclear Research took that love to a whole new level yesterday. They pushed the boundaries of engineering to give us the highest powered smash we've ever seen. Deep below the French-Swiss border lies the Large Hadron Collider. The 27-kilometer particle accelerator fired up its high-powered beams for its first real experiment. The machine smashes particles together close to the speed of light, so physicists can see what they're made of. To help us make sense of what's going on at the Large Hadron Collider is science reporter Colin Schultz. So, Colin, what are they doing up there anyway? What they're really doing is just high energy collisions. The easiest way to think about it is take two dragsters, going back to our NASCAR theme, I guess, smash them together at high speed. What the physicists at the Large Hadron Collider are doing is they're going around in the field, trying to find the parts of the car and figure out what's in the car, try to put those cars back together. So that's really what they're working on at this. It's just high energy collisions, trying to figure out what makes up those particles. And wh what are they looking for? One of the main things that they're looking for is something called the Higgs boson. So going back to our car analogy, let's say they go out in the field, they, f they find all the parts of the car that we know have to be there, but they're not finding any engines. That's sort of like the same thing with the Higgs boson. Of all the particles that physicists have predicted, they found all of them but the Higgs. So that's what they're really hoping to find at the Large Hadron Collider is the Higgs boson. And what this particle is supposed to do is give mass to all the other particles in the universe. We have all these other particles. We don't know how they have mass. Finding the Higgs will help answer that question. I explain the Higgs to me. How does that work? The Higgs is part of, there's something called the Higgs field. It's made up of Higgs bosons. And when, uh, let's think of it as a molasses. When other particles pass through the Higgs field, it's like they're passing through molasses. The Higgs grabs onto those particles. Some particles are better at passing through the molasses than others, so they get they get grabbed by the Higgs bosons to varying amounts. This gives the different particles different masses. So that's really what the Higgs is all about, and that's how it interacts with the other particles. And when will we know when or if they found it? It's going to be a long time. With the Large Hadron Collider, they're producing so much data from the detectors, it's like it comes out to about a CD's worth of data every second. So it's going to take the physicists there a really long time to crunch through all the numbers, to just to figure out what's going on. So they don't expect to get anything, not e like maybe preliminary results by about July. And uh, Colin, is there any kind of practical application to all of this? Well, that's the, that's the problem with just bleeding edge physics. It's really high end stuff. It's, it's hard to think of exactly what we're gonna do with it. When they were working on electricity, they weren't, they didn't, nobody was thinking about light bulbs. They didn't have that in mind. They weren't working towards that goal. The same thing with quantum physics. It's turned into DVDs now, but we didn't know that at the time when they were really starting to figure it out. So that's the same thing with the Large Hadron Collider. We're hoping to find this Higgs boson. We're hoping to find out a couple of other things, but we don't know exactly what it'll turn into. But as with all the other high-end physics, it's likely to turn into something. Great. Great. Well, thanks a lot, Colin. That was our science reporter, Colin Schultz.